Hello there, you're welcome to Monday's edition of Channel Sport this morning. I'm Taya Salam. Thanks for joining us on the show. I'm Yemi Adebayo. I feel so much uh, good to be here uh, this morning, and we're going to take you on a trip across the money spinning world of sports. Let's yeah. start you off uh, by going straight to Ghana and tell you that uh, Black Stars are Wafu champions, uh, defeated the Super Eagles of Nigeria 4 1 in Sunday's final. Right. Close but no cigar for the Spikers of Nigeria. Uh, losing that game, that final, that championship decider against Ghana uh, in the Waffle Cup of Nations. Uh, better luck next time to Nigeria. Also on the show today, um, let's talk tennis now. And we have our winners of the inaugural Labour Cup. And it's Team Europe, expectedly led by Roger Federer, world number two. He did the magic for Team Europe. That was on Sunday. So, Europe champions of the inaugural Labour Cup. All right. So, uh, that's it for the Labour Cup. And we uh, move away quickly and talk golf. American golfer Justin Thomas um, is the FedEx Cup winner. He gets uh, $10 million <laughs> for um, imagine winner of the, the FedEx Cup, despite right. not only losing uh, the tour championship, but still gets home uh, with something uh, for winning five major trophies uh, this year, <laughs> the USPGA being one of those right. uh, major tournaments. Did you say you still get something? $10 million. It's not something. Oh, okay. my goodness. What are you it's talking huge. about? That's, um, I that's, guess, that's, that's crazy. That's, yeah, I know. that's a jackpot right for there. For him. I guess I was expecting him to just cap it all off. Right. Win By the winning the champ winning, yeah. You know, but he came second uh, right. in, in this one. Uh, but um, he still got a jackpot. Absolutely. Uh, and, and that's good. And um, he, he moves up in the rankings. He's, uh, I think he's good. after this tournament, he's going to be uh, number, what, number four. Mm. Uh, it's good for him. He's been on the rise. He's just 23. He's been on the rise. You know, a lot of um, young golfers are now doing, doing it. Him, uh, his rival, uh, his fellow Jordan, uh, Jordan Spieth, uh, and Dustin Justin also right. uh, in the mix. You have a crop of golfers now. You know, we used to think that, oh, it's a game for the old folks. But you have, I mean, a collection, wild collection of young guys mm. uh, doing it. And of course, the Americans you know, uh, being the ones dominating the scene. But right. we spare thought for this man. What a wonderful year he's had. Yeah, what a wonderful year uh, for Justin Thomas. I mean, he came second at the Tour Championship behind Zander Schofule. Let's spare thought for him as well. Mm -hmm. He's won the championship and no one is really talking about him because uh, it's all about Justin Thomas, uh, who won the FedEx uh, Cup before. Uh, Schofule, he carded a two under 68 to finish 12 on the par and win by one shot from Thomas, who finished on uh, six on a 66. So that's how it panned out at the um, Tour Championship. Justin Thomas, winner of the FedEx Cup, you can see him lifting it, um, you know, right there, and wins a bonus of 10 million US dollars as well. So, so let's go and take on the reaction of the man of the moment. I'm talking about Justin Thomas. Very weird. I, at, at first, I. I'm sure people were kind of shocked at my reactions or, or my tone. Um, I, because I was, I mean, I wasn't mad, but my competitive nature. I mean, I was upset. I felt like I had a great chance to win this tournament, and I didn't. And I wanted to win six times this year, coming into this week and today. I mean, I knew that I, just from looking at social media, I think I would have been the only person other than Tiger to do it in the last however many years. And anytime you're in the same sentence or record books as Tiger, it's pretty impressive. So. Yes, that's your 2017 FedEx Cup champion, Justin uh, Thomas. He lost the battle on the day, but won the war. Um, I mean, I mean what, what more can you say uh, when you cap it all up by winning the FedEx Cup, which is like the ultimate goal uh, for all PGA Tour players. They start the year aiming to end at top of the leaderboard when it comes to the uh, FedEx Cup. So uh, he's done it now, yeah. and he can only go forward for me. He can only aim higher. Uh, like you said, him, uh, John, jo Jordan Spieth, mm -hmm. uh, there's still Ricky Fowler there mm -hmm. as well too. Uh, the likes of Dustin Johnson as well too, they were all in with a shout mm -hmm. uh, to win the FedEx Cup. It didn't pan out for them. Um, you know, as expected. But next year, it's going to be a uh, very, very competitive game on the PGA Tour. Yeah, and he's already in, uh, in the company of uh, illustrious people. Right. He, he said coming here, uh, one thing was on his mind, winning this, and, you know, he, he thought uh, Tiger Woods is, is the pro probably the only person that have achieved that 
at an early age uh, and was go going for that. And like you said, uh, it feels good losing but not actually <laughs> losing. Uh, right. So uh, good one for him. Well, He's going to uh, team up uh, with his um, rival and friend, um, Jordan Street. Jordan. Uh, they, they both will be representing America in, in the President's right. Cup uh, l later on. Right. Uh, it's going to be in New York. I think it's going to start uh, on Thursday. So mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see how all the golfers uh, move on. A lot of tournaments in the year. And, uh, you know, most of these guys don't suffer from hangovers. That's why I like them. Once it's done, they just go straight right. uh, into the on next one. On to the one. next one. That's it. So that's it for golf. Now we move on to, uh, let's talk tennis now. And uh, we've been talking about the uh, inaugural Labor Cup uh, for the whole of last week. And it finally came to an end uh, yesterday uh, with Team Europe defeating the rest of the world. I mean, it was a very, very competitive one. Uh, it, despite what we said, we, we thought it was going to be a blowout. Mm -hmm. uh, but the rest of the world, they showed a lot of fights uh, in that particular uh, tournament. Europe began yesterday with a 9-3 lead. But after a win of Pisa uh, in the opening two matches for John Isner and uh, John Isner beating Rafael Nadal, I remember that one, that was a shocker. They mm -hmm. were able to cut the advantage to 12-9. But Roger Federer, you know, this guy had other ideas because mm -hmm. he, he was now down to him to clinch it. Um, uh, you would say this is the guy that started it all. all. I mean, it's, it's the brain behind the mm -hmm. Labour Cup. Mm -hmm. And um, it's only right for him to be the one to clinch it for Europe. Yeah. And it did just that when it took on uh, Nick Creels and um, he won that one. Uh, uh, 4 6 7 6 11 9 to spark jubilant uh, jil uh, celebrations. And what we're seeing now is Alexander Zverev. Yeah, Zverev. <laughs> who, who was a great form as well. Inspired form, yeah. Uh, did, did the job as, as expected. I mean, I, I, you know, like you said, we thought it was going to be a blowout. Mm -hmm. uh, we, even the doubles, most anticipated doubles, because we have to talk about it on Saturday. For the first time, we got to see uh, Roger Federer and, and, and Nadal uh, step out and play uh, in the doubles. Team World didn't just lie down. They, they did. They fought. It was one apiece uh, in that one, and that's the man who uh, the tournament is uh, named after, right. uh, Rod Laver. And a lot of exciting moments, but like you said, a uh, shiny moment for Roger Federer, only fitting that it was going to be him uh, that was going to uh, ensure that Team World was dead right. and buried. Because Nick Kyrgios was, I mean, fighting to, to, push, to push on. And if he had won, you know, the gap would still be there. But right. they, they had a chance to make something out of it. But Roger Federer just ensured that on day three, everything uh, got wrapped up. Team, team Europe right. uh, won it. Uh, at this moment, you thought something was going to happen. Mm. But it wasn't just their day. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, Nick Kyrgios played really well. Remember, the only meeting between these two guys uh, a few months ago, mm -hmm. um, he defeated Roger Federer. So he went into this game believing he can actually do it. Mm -hmm. And a win for Nick Kyrgios uh, would have, you know, extended uh, the competition to a deciding doubles. I yes. mean, they would have leveled it up and they would have gone to a decider, which is a doubles. And we know the doubles... It's and, tricky. Yeah, tricky. very tricky. I mean, all these guys have not played together. Mm -hmm. And we've seen how the rest of the world managed to get a few wins. From the you remember on Saturday yeah. when Rafael yeah. Nadal and Roger Federer went, went for, for the, the same, same ball. Shot. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have been tricky. So, uh, Roger Federer wasn't taking any chances at all. And he defeated Nick Kyrgios. He actually saved the match points in winning that match. 4 6 7 6 11 9 that's the jubilations right there. Uh, Team Europe, uh, inconsolable right there. That's uh, Nick Krios. You can understand why. Yeah, a lot rested I, on his shoulder. Yeah. He fought hard, but at some point. Thanks for showing us uh, class, and we'll try hard to represent the sport as good as we can. Thank you very much. Right, champions of the uh, Labour Cup there. And uh, we also saw during that, um, uh, that the next stop is going to be in Chicago. That was the 2018 uh, Labour Cup. And you'd say uh, perhaps uh, the rest of the world would have a bit of home advantage uh, in that one, depending on how many Americans uh, make the rest of the world. But we know it's the bulk of them that will be in that squad. Uh, if the shoe was on the other leg, if it was 
maybe the, the ladies, mm. I would say they have an advantage. We've always talked about how right. the Americans, they, they don't really have a star cast now. Mm. Talk, talk about players. Uh, yeah, we, we used to have the likes of uh, John Eastner, one or two. Jack you know, Sock is those, so uh, the young South But not, not, on, not on that not, level. Not yeah. like in the days when you had maybe Pete, uh, Andrea, Andrea Garcia. Yeah. You know, no, it's not. It's, it's, far, it's from not so, far, far So even playing in Chicago. Uh, yeah, I, I, I talked about home advantage. You, you, you know, there's something it does to you when you have the fans on. I would know, Rather they, you. I'd rather they have, you know, top players mm. than even, you know. But right. I do agree with you that, you know, sometimes playing at home, it could spoil you on Absolutely. Uh, uh, and inspire you. All Absolutely. right, um, where do we go? Um, Still tennis. Okay. Right. Caroline Wozniacki. I mean, what a player. I mean, she divides um, our opinions uh, because a lot of people feel she actually has the tools and she has, she has the, uh, the ability to go on and be multiple, to multiple major uh, champion. But she hasn't done so uh, till now. And, um, but yesterday, it was good news for her because she won the first title of 2017. I mean, the year is almost over. She waited so long, but better late than never. I guess Caroline was now ending a string of final failures by defeating Anastasia Pavlichenkova 6-love, 7-5 to win her second straight Pan Pacific Open title. The 27-year-old bust out the gate behind a strong service game with two aces in a 21-minute first set route. Pavlichenko was more competitive in the second and held herself throughout until Wozniacki converted a third match point and sealed victory in the 12th game of the set. So that's it. Caroline yeah. Wozniacki is a Pan Pacific Open champion back to back. I have to have yeah, there, there was this joke about Wozniacki at some point that you know, she was the only person who became world number one without Without. Actually, right. uh, winning a Grand Slam. But since 2008, she's always ensured that in spite of her uh, up and down mm. uh, form, she, she doesn't show that she won the WTA tournament. Always, and, and, and this year, she's been able uh, to, to do it. Right. Um, I, I, I'm thinking her play deserves a grand slam to her name. I, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, she's 27, but, mm. you know, uh, it's not that very much old. No, nah, not I'm at all. For, for, for the ladies. Mm. So I'm thinking she might, 2018 might be better. Uh, for her, now that she's 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 been able to you know get all her issues uh, sorted, play play tennis. Tokyo mm. Tokyo was a good outing. Right. Hopefully the next few ones too will be good as well. Really? So you're actually thinking there's still a grand slam in there for Caroline Wozniak? Yeah, I think so. I really? think so. If if the if she can be consistent, mm. you know, the quality has never been in doubt. It's, it's just doubt. stepping up on the big occasion. That, that's that's the question. Right. That's the big question mark mm. when you talk about Caroline. But the, the talent. Obvious, everyone else. Because the reason I ask is um, Serena Williams is making a comeback, right? <laughs> I mean, when she's on tour, I mean, she's favorite for a lot of people. Yes. We have the youngsters as well, too. Coming we saw uh, Sloan. Sloan Stevens, and we saw Martin Keys, we mm. saw Yelena Ostapenko. All these ladies, they are, they mean business. They want to win. I you would say, Someone like Caroline Wozniak, who's been on tour for a while, mm -hmm. hasn't managed uh, to win a major. How do you think she's going? I mean, I know she's a very competitive, um, you know, uh, tennis player, but I just struggle to see how, you know, she's going to do against was it, this lady. Was it two years ago where we had two oldest, apart from Serena and Willa, uh, mm. I think Schiavone and another. Right, yeah. You didn't see that happening, did you? Mm. So, uh, you know, we've seen stranger things happen. Absolutely. And, you know, let's see. But I think if she can, you know, stay on point, right. be consistent, I think she, she might just get before she hangs it up.